Hi, welcome to uh, Philam Cuisine. Today we're gonna cook um, the ultimate pinak bet. We call it ultimate because he says the best taste in town. Here are the ingredients. We have uh, garlic, onions, ginger, uh, tomatoes, um, a shrimp paste, a fish ball, um, pork belly, shrimp, uh, chicken bouillon, banana pepper, okra, uh, we have coconut milk, bitter melon, eggplant, and we have malungai, li mal malungai leaves, we have malungai, and we have um, squash, we have string beans, or long beans, and um, pork rind. We have, we're gonna use also um, um, some olive oil, salt, salt and pepper. So let's proceed to cooking. Now we will uh, do the cooking. Uh, first, we're going to put um, olive oil. Put a little bit of olive oil here. Our pan is um, hot already. Um, we're going to put uh, garlic. Put garlic. And um, we'll make it a little bit brown. Don't overcook garlic because this tendency is to be to get bitter when uh, it is overcooked. Um, we have our onions. Put onions here and our ginger. Cook it for two seconds and then we will put the um, tomato. Mm. There you go. Add it in. And again, cook it for two minutes. Put the pork belly. So we let the steamer for two minutes. We're gonna let the uh, we're gonna let the uh, natural sauce or natural oil for belly to come out. So we'll add a little water. Okay. We're gonna saute this for. Or steamer this for two minutes and we'll be right back now we'll see what uh, is going on here all right our tomatoes they cook already and now we have to add the uh, shrimp paste don't uh, put too much shrimp paste because it's tendency is to be it will be get real salty you can always add at the end. So now we will uh, put uh, the vegetables, the the uh, the uh, squash is the hardest. We have to put that first, and we'll uh, add also the malungai. Because these are, this will take a um, few minutes to be half cooked. So um, we leave it this way, simmer it for a few seconds, and we'll get back to you. I added the um, the uh, eggplant 
the um, okra, bell pepper already, the um, bitter melon over right here, and the rest of the malungai leaves. So we're gonna simmer this for a few seconds or a couple of minutes and then we'll get back to you. Let's see what's uh, going on with uh, our veggie here. Wow, this is uh, half cooked now. Let's uh, give it uh, a little mix. We're gonna mix it a little bit and then we're gonna add uh, two more ingredients that we have. Okay, now we will add the fish ball and uh, the shrimp. Okay, why did I add the shrimp and fish ball at the end? Um, when you overcook shrimp, it will be chewy and the piece ball is uh, already cooked you know it needs only a little bit of the heat to tenderize a little bit and uh, once the uh, shrimp changed we're gonna cover this and once the shrimp changed its color to golden meaning it's already uh, cooked so uh, probably it will take two more minutes and then we will get back okay let's check what's going on here wow look at the uh, shrimp it's uh, golden golden now and let's stir it a little bit and um, we're gonna put the last uh, ingredient which is the coconut the coconut milk all right tastes so yummy now we're gonna put the coconut milk. This is the last. This will take probably another two minutes. Your enough bit will be real chunk, real tasty. Then we're gonna put uh, putting uh, some chili and. Last thing is the uh, chicken bouillon to make it tastier. And then we're gonna give it a little mix it a little bit again, and we're gonna let this cook for another two minutes so the coconut milk will be, will uh, be thickened. All right, let me cover this and I'll get back to you. Now, here is the uh, finished product, the ultimate pinakbet.